Welcome to another video by Ferris Technology. Today we're going to talk about how to use mail merge to create barcode labels. And so I'm going to bring up a new document here. Uh, pull up Word and a blank document here. Now in my blank document I would go to the mailings tab here and on the mailings tab I would start by starting a mail merge. Okay. Now, in starting the mail merge, I want to make labels today because they're going to be labels that I'm going to affix um, a SKU number on packages or books or shelves or something like this. This is the kind of scenario. So I'm going to click on labels here. And you'll notice in this dialog box that I, it has chosen the label vendor to be Microsoft. In other words, Microsoft doesn't make labels. Um, but Microsoft gives you a generic setup for a lot of different label types that exist in the Avery brands or other label maker brands. Now, if you know the particular Avery uh, type of labels, you can go ahead and go down here to Avery US letter and you can choose the number package for the type of label that ha they have. So by number, it'll give you all of the pertinent information to place your text right in the proper place on those labels. The guttering and everything would be perfect for those particular labels. If you use Microsoft, it's kind of like using a generic driver for your video driver instead of using your uh, Logitech or driver for your mouse or something like that. So we're going to use the generic one for today's, uh, for, for today's work. And so I'm going to click OK for 30 per page. Height is going to be one inch and the width is going to be 2.63 and the page size eight and a half by 11, which is US standard paper size. So I'm going to click OK and we'll go move on there. OK, so next I'm going to choose the recipient list and I have an existing list of barcode numbers that I want to use in an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to go up here to this folder here and I've got a uh, barcode text at .xls is my spreadsheet. So I'm going to open, going to open that. It's going to be on sheet number one and I'm going to click OK. Now you can start seeing something happen on the screen. I have an actual list. It has at least 30 items on that list. So you see it fill out at least the first page here. And it filled in a basic item here, which is the next record for everything except the very first record. So now what I need to do is I need to build my barcode. Now, the best way to build the barcode is to open up your browser and open up your browser and select merge barcode and search for that. And your top listing is generally no, it looks like it's down here, the third listing. What you're looking for is the Microsoft article on Merge Barcode, and it'll explain on that page the settings and the syntax for the Merge Barcode command that you're going to use to put together your barcodes. Now, notice that the syntax area here tells you that the command is Merge Barcode. The first field argument is the data that you're going to put in and the second is going to be the code what kind of a barcode you want and then the third here is going to be the different switches we'll go through each one separately so that you understand each one as we do it okay i have this here i wanted to put this on the screen here so that you can help you understand it a little bit better this is the way that it had it written on the Microsoft website. This is what it means. Okay. In other words, merge barcode is your first command. The data comes next. The barcode type comes next. And then the switches come next. So it's going to look like this when you're done down here. So merge barcode in, in my case, the field name that I'm going to be choosing is called SKU number. I'm going to use code 128 for the type of barcode. And then here's the switches. I'm going to tell it that the height is going to be 720 and they have a name for this. If I put this back over here, if I go to, to the switches, this height argument here is in what they call TWIPS. 
I have no idea where that word comes from, but twips where each twip is one 1440th of an inch. So if I want a half inch barcode, I want to then put 720 twips, which is half of 1440, okay? And then I'm gonna tell it that I wanna show the text. In other words, I'm gonna show slash T is showing the text that was in the SKU number. So that's what I'm gonna to do to build the barcode. Now, how do I do that? I go here to this field and I insert a merge field here and the SKU number for, is the first thing to insert here. I'm gonna insert that item here. Now, you'll notice that I'm only working in the very first label. So I'm gonna set everything up in the first label. Then I'm actually gonna copy it 29 more times so that um, it fills out the first page. Once the first page is filled out, it continues on until the, uh, the entire list of barcodes is complete. So what I wanna do here is you have to right click and toggle the field codes because you wanna see the field codes so you know where to put the other commands, okay? Now, in place of merge field, I want to put merge barcode. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna type in barcode. Now I leave SKU number there the way it is. And at the end of SKU number, I want to put code 128. Now, if we pull the website over here, what does is these barcode types tells you what those kind of barcodes are. And it gives you a nice Wikipedia article, a Wikipedia article here to uh, explain what each kind of barcode is. And I, frankly, I, I wanna choose barcode 128. Uh, it, that's the one that works the best for my purpose here. So I want to put code 128. Okay, then I'm gonna put a space because now what do I have next? I have my switches. And so remember when we were looking at this, now we're, we're building this part, right? So I'm gonna put a height of 720 and a slash T so I show the text, okay? Now, what I wanna do is I wanna see if I've got it right, okay? So the first, first thing you do is to go see that you've got it right before I go copying it 29 times. I'm going to go to merge and edit individual documents. I'm gonna go ahead and say all here and there's my barcode. If I increase the size of this so you can see a little bit better, notice it has the barcode and then it has AB0001. And now what I did was I created these barcodes. It's all gonna be AB and it's gonna be 002, 003, 004, all the way to 110. And I've got 110 on that list in my Excel spreadsheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and I'm not gonna save it at this point. So what I want to do now is to go ahead and copy all of this information here and paste it after next record in all of these. And if I wanna check it midway, I can do that by going check individual documents. And here I'm, I'm getting barcodes the way I expect. That's good, that's good. I'm not gonna save that, okay? Okay, so now you see that I've finished copying all the records all the way down to the bottom. And so now what I wanna do is I want to do one last check. I'm gonna go back to mailings here and I'm going to check uh, edit individual documents. And I wanna look at this and it looks like we are good here so far, okay? And if I scroll, there's the page break and notice it starts AB031 there. After the first 30, it's now 31, and it'll scroll all the way through to 110. Good, I got all of the, all the barcode items, and I'm ready to send it off uh, to the printer to make my barcodes, and it's all done. Now, if I were to save it in this window, uh, in my extra window here that opens up when I wanna preview it, I will be saving just this. I won't be saving these. So I would probably wanna save both documents. 
so that I could reuse this with another set of AB00, uh, 0112 or 111, 112, 113 and continue on so that I can make more, more barcodes after these um, are exhausted. So I'll go ahead and close this one and I don't want to save this at this point, moment. I could then just go straight to printing the documents here and I could also save this document. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you join us again soon. Thanks. If you enjoyed the content that you saw today and would like to help me grow the channel, hover your mouse over my picture to the left and click on subscribe. There are also other videos showing on the screen that you might enjoy.